Sharks don't just rule oceans. Now, in its 26th year, Shark Week will be the biggest event on TV and on the web. And that's a really big deal to its home, the Discovery Channel. Since 2003, the week-long event has drawn more than 20 million viewers on the cable dial. And last year, there were more than 3.2 million digital video streams, plus 2.6 million mentions on Twitter. But the sweetest part for Discovery, during Shark Week, the average age of its mostly male viewership drops a full eight years to 31, making it a home run for advertisers in search of the elusive male super consumer. Speaking of advertisers, Discovery Channel brought in more than $571 million in ad revenue last year, more than a third of the 2012 U.S. ad revenue for parent company Discovery Communications. And while the company won't release figures around Shark Week, a lot is riding on this year's marketing partnerships, especially with returning sponsor Volkswagen. After converting a beetle into a shark cage for three 60-second ads last year, VW sold 3,000 of the cars the following month, the car's highest sales total of 2012. The beetle shark cage is back for 2013. As is the Coldstone Creamery Shark Sunday, Tom's with shark-themed shoes, and Grey Clips, which is dangling a shark-themed trip to the Atlantis Resort in its 3,300 salon. To make a splash for this year, Discovery made an ad of its own. Two weeks ago, the world fell in love with Snuffy the Seal, who washed up on shore injured and dehydrated. And now you see it. Snuffy's triumphant return. Yay! Since its debut in June, the Snuffy Shark Week campaign has gone viral, clocking more than 5 million views on YouTube. One thing's for sure, during Shark Week, the other networks, they're going to need a bigger boat.